In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements, we'd like to show you how to fix a situation where the raw footage you have has the audio track and the video track slightly out of sync. Unfortunately, this happens from time to time. We'd like to show you one way to fix that. It takes a bit of patience, but it's really not all that difficult. So what we're going to do is show you an example. So I have in my project, Media, I'm going to click on the Project Assets and drag this clip down to Audio and Video Track number one. And then we'll show you what happens when we play the video. Hey Amy, do you have a printer cartridge? Printer cartridge? I just saw you put a new cartridge in your printer this morning. Well, I kind of used that one up. Well, you notice what we have now is we have the audio ahead of the video. How do we fix that? Well, what I'm going to do first of all, I need to split the clip. I'm going to enlarge it on the screen by clicking the icon to the right above the timeline. But I'll right click on the combined video audio clip and I'll choose Unlink Audio and Video. Now I can move them independently one from the other. But in order to see what I'm doing, I'm going to magnify this even further. I'll press the Home key to take my time indicator to the very beginning of the project, and then I'll magnify it by dragging the ball on the slider and making it larger so I can actually begin to see the individual frames that we're working with. Now I can move this one of two ways. I can take the video, which I have to move forward to match the audio, highlight that, and I can hold the left mouse button down and drag it, and move it one frame at a time. Or if I want to be precise with the keyboard, I can hold the Alt key down, press the period key once, it will move it or nudge it one frame to the right. If I want to go back the other way, I hold the Alt key down and press the comma key and it will nudge it one frame to the left. So right now I've pushed it over six frames. Let's see what it looks like. We'll press the play key. Hey Amy, do you have a printer cartridge? Printer cartridge? I just saw you put a new... Now it's a little better, but it's not exactly what we want. I'll press the home key again. Make sure I have the video track highlighted. And let's go another seven or eight frames. I'll use the keyboard control. 13 or 14 frames along. Now I'll press the play and see what happens now. Hey Amy, do you have a printer cartridge? Printer cartridge? I just saw you put a new cartridge in your printer this morning. Well, I kind of used that one up. So that's not too bad. Now you might have to take a little more time than this to get a, exactly where you want it to be. But for the sake of our tutorial, let's assume that we have it about where we want it. What we're going to do now, go back to the home key. And now we're going to click on this frame of our project. I'm going to highlight the audio track and I'm going to click on the scissor icon to cut that first section of the audio track. And I'll highlight it again and press the delete key on the keyboard and I'll remove it. Now we need to go to the end of our video. I'll click on the video track, press the end key. And now we have to align them again. So I'll move back to this frame, click on my scissor icon again, highlight the video track and press the delete key. Now I have the two tracks identical, where they begin and where they end. I like both of them, and then I'll right click and choose Link Audio and Video, and now I have them back as one single audio video track. I can go in and do other modifications to this and the rest of my project, but now I don't have to worry about a sync issue in Adobe Premiere Elements.